there are two basic kinds of strokes. One is where an artery gets blocked. That's called an ischemic stroke. And then there's another kind of stroke in which a blood vessel ruptures, and that's called a hemorrhagic stroke. The block kind of stroke represents about 85% of strokes. The way stroke occurs is you have a blockage of an artery due to something called a thrombus, which is often called a clot. And that clot can actually close off the blood vessel completely or can break off from itself and produce something called an embolus. So while the original clot may be in the carotid artery or even the heart, that clot can then fragment and send more clot downstream and, and block arteries further downstream. Generally speaking, a stroke is a lack of blood flow to a certain part of the brain that deprives that brain of oxygen and nutrients and then subsequently dies. Since the brain controls function, what happens is you lose the function to which blood no longer goes to. So if my speech area is located right over here in my brain and blood ceases to go to that part of the brain, I will stop speaking and, and maybe even stop understanding. A heart attack is a blocked artery that goes to the muscle, which we call a heart. A stroke is a blocked artery that goes to this thing up here called the brain. So many of the risk factors for heart attack and stroke are very similar. That's why it often gets so confused. It's incredibly common. It's the fifth leading cause of death. And, the, and most importantly, it's the leading cause of long-term disability all of humanity. So it's a gigantic problem. The good news is we've made incredible strides in preventing it and treating it acutely.